Performing a load study with the Fluke 1730 energy logger requires connections. Here we've got connections for our voltage. So here with our voltage connectors, we've got a typical four, mil four millimeter jack. Also has identification on there for which phase it may be on if it's, if it's more than one phase. Plug that guy in. That goes out via this nice new cable that Fluke has here that keeps all of our cables all nice and neatly together rather than running all over the place. They uh, go up, they're connected into a simulated device for us here today, so we're not using proper PPE gloves and whatnot. Everything is finger safe. On the current side of things, you can see that we have the CTs. These small CTs allow us to grab on and get that current signal. And they have a nice connector here. You see the electrical pins here. It's got a nice keyway showing you exactly how and where you need to push this into our 1730. Once the connections are made, let's go ahead and power the unit on. Now, whether we got our connections hooked up properly, we'll be able to identify that when, we, when the logger powers on. And in one of the screens will show us that we've got all of our, our CTs turned the right direction, whereas all the arrows should be facing towards the load, or maybe we've got something mixed up. We can go ahead and check our connectivity, or our connection right here by verify. I'll hit that. It will immediately show me my voltage and my current. So voltage for A, B, and C, current for A, B, and C. And you'll notice a little red arrow here for my current on the B phase is turned backwards. I can go ahead and hit the autocorrect button here. Once I select this, it will then go ahead using the electronics inside the device, change that around so now I'm getting a proper signal and all of my connections are, head, are set up properly. So now I know that I've got good data coming in for this for this energy report, this uh, load study. So now what we want to do is we want to go back here and configure this, making sure that we have uh, the proper configuration. Here we're actually going to select enter. We're going to move down to load study. Select enter. And then we're going to fi uh, fix the kind of topology that we have in there, that being the kind of system that we're hooked up to. Whether it be single phase, if I scroll up to single phase, you'll see that identified here, three phase Y, or possibly a three phase delta, or anything else in between. Now as we go up here to our three phase Y, it's going to also show us the connection for voltage and for current, which makes this very easy for us. So in a load study, we only need to have the current to do the setup versus an energy study where you would see the voltage set up. So let's go ahead and select enter. And then let's select meter here. This shows us our connections. And then let's go into our logging capabilities here. So when we go into the logging here, let's go ahead and edit the setups. We want to make sure that we've selected the proper duration here. So we scroll down and select enter. Here we select the duration of time. The nice thing about selecting the time is it's also going to show us how much memory is available for that. So as you see, as we go further and further out, it tells us how much memory will be used for that length of time, whether it's 12 weeks all the way down to 10 minutes for the duration. So for this, we're just going to hit 10, 10 minutes, select Enter. And then our calculation average here. We'll look here at how often are we going to collect <coughs> an average here. So for this, let's go ahead and do five seconds, just for the sim simple sake of this. Select Done, and now we can select Logging. So now you can see everything's set up and it's now logging. You also get a nice indication here telling you that it's actually performing some work by the flashing green power light. The logging is actually starting. It's going on behind the scenes, and if we'd like, we can here look at these, uh, whether we're looking at the numbers here in the meter mode or if we want to see them graphically and see what the levels look like here. 